Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Marshall from the Edmondson Holistic Veterinary Clinic, and I'm back with my cat, Archie, to talk more about feline urination issues. What a good time. So I would like to give you a little hint that uh, not a lot of veterinarians will really advise and because it doesn't seem like it should be possible, but it, I have a lot of clients that are able to do. So when we need a urine sample to evaluate the urinary health, or sometimes we need that to help decide whether our patients are starting to have a kidney issue, which is almost universally a problem in cats as they age, it's really important for veterinarians to get nice fresh urine samples. What has been standard and with, is within my training as well is the assumption that if you're going to get a urine sample from a cat, typically you're going to want to, in the clinic, collect it from a, by a procedure called a cystocentesis. This can be a safe procedure and it is a very common procedure just so that we can get our samples. However, it does involve um, inserting a needle through their abdominal wall and into their bladder to retrieve the urine sample. For a lot of thin cats, um, unstressed cats, cooperative cats, this can be a really safe way for us to gather the samples that we need. But as you can imagine, it's a little bit uncomfortable. It doesn't seem horribly painful, but you can always try to get a urine sample at home. So one way to do this, to get a nice clean sample, is to try to get a free catch sample. So as you can imagine, in a dog, you can take a dog outside and if they're used to eliminating on a leash, when they're urinating, you can just gently slip, um, we tend to like soup ladles at my clinic, or a cup underneath into the urine stream to collect some of the liquid urine that can then be placed into a clean container, a clean sealed container, and taken to the veterinarian for analysis. You can actually do the same thing with a lot of cats. So some cats are really shy and very private and unpredictable with when they're gonna urinate and then this might not work. But for a lot of cats, if you kind of think about it, they have a predictable timing for when they're going to urinate at least once or twice a day. For a lot of cats, that's maybe after breakfast or after dinner. Some of them are actually social eliminators um, where they like to come in with their owners when their inners, owners are in the bathroom and then if there's a litter box available, they will tend to use that um, just as kind of like a social behavior. If that's the case with your cat, what you can try to do, and don't scare your cat, please, but just get some supplies nearby and make sure that they stay clean. So you just want like a big spoon or something kind of flat. I promise I won't tell your dinner guests that you do this. Um, although you might not want to come to have dinner in my house. And then whatever you're going to put your urine sample into. You can always get a sterile collection cup um, from your veterinarian. You can use a small ceiling Tupperware. Uh, glass is a really good inert container, so I like glass jars a lot. Just make sure that it's really clean, that there's not any leftover soap or detergent residue in there that's gonna change the pH reading when we do our urine analysis in the lab. Um, and then it seals fully so that um, we can prevent evaporation of your sample. So when you go to collect your sample, if you know when your cat is maybe going to eliminate, you can just be ready, have your, have your supplies close to the litter box, and then if the cat enters the litter box, and you can usually see when they're kind of getting things ready, they might gently kind of um, start to squat. For some of them, they're actually not that private about it, and you can just very gently try to tuck this um, underneath their tail, and I do know that most of them squat very low. We can run an entire urine analysis on less than a quarter of a teaspoon of urine. So you don't feel like you have to catch the entire contents of their bladder, but if you're able to get a little bit of liquid urine that's not contaminated by litter, and then you could put it directly into your jar and seal it up, then you might be able to take that to your veterinarian for analysis without having to take your cat um, to the vet to have a procedure um, that involves something that's a little bit uncomfortable and can be stressful, even a visit I know can be stressful for them. So it's worth a try. It's, it can take a little bit of like patience and stakeout, but I've had a lot of owners be pretty surprised that this is something that is, is readily available to them. And if not, of course, talk to your veterinarian about other sampling options. But 
regular urine monitoring um, in cats, especially cats that have a history of urinary tract infection, urinary tract inflammation, um, and that's had various names through the years, including feline urinary syndrome, urologic syndrome, um, feline lower urinary tract disease, or feline interstitial cystitis. All of those things sometimes are explained by veterinarians as um, like crystals or um, non-infected bladder inflammation. Also cats that are aging, I would highly advise any cat over the age of 12 to get regular blood work on an annual basis or more often as recommended by your veterinarian, um, as well as a urine check because to do those things kind of in concert really helps fill in our understanding of what's going on with their kidneys as well as their lower urinary tract, which is really important and a very common issue for cats as they age. So if you wanna give it a try and have it just be something that you practice so that your cat understands that they're safe and you're not there to interrupt them on a regular basis, um, you could make this kind of, um, like a positive experience for them so that after you're able to collect the sample, you know, that they get some, some extra positive attention and they know that you're not going to interrupt whatever they're doing in the litter box um, in any super stressful kind of way. It's worth a shot. It um, might save your kitty some stress. So good luck. Um, have fun with your stakeout. And if you have further questions, please let us know. Thank you.